Okay, chapter eight, lesson one. We're gonna now focus on example three, which is adding two vectors together using either the triangle method, tip to tail, or the parallel method, the tail to tail. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, my preferred method and what I use almost every time is the triangle method. Again, I went into a little bit of detail with that at the previous example. Okay, so where does all of this use? Let's look at example three. It says, while hiking in the woods, Shelly walks two kilometers north 30 degrees west from her camp and then walks two kilometers directly east. How far and at what quadrant bearing is Shelly from her camp? Okay, the first thing that we are going to do is sketch a coordinate plane, and we are going to sketch this picture. Now, I'm not actually going to use a ruler and a protractor. I'm just going to make sketches and use our trigonometry to answer this question. Okay, we always are going to begin at the origin. So from camp, she walks two kilometers north, 30 degrees west. So remember, this is north, east, south, and west. Never eat soggy waffles. Okay. Now, if she's going north, 30 degrees west, we're moving up and to the left. Okay. So this is 30 degrees. And she went two kilometers. Okay, she then walks two kilometers directly east. Okay, so just envision that we create a new coordinate plane right here. Okay, and if she's gonna go two kilometers directly east, okay, that's going to go to her right. Okay, and she gave him one another two kilometers. Now we need to figure out how far she is from camp. This is our resultant vector. So I'm gonna go from where she started to where she ended, and this is R. This is what I'm trying to find. Now, not only do I need to know how far she is, what distance, but I also need to know this uh, bearing from north, okay? and I'm looking for a quadrant bearing. Okay, this is where we're gonna begin using some of the geometry you learned way back in your sophomore or some of you your freshman year. Now notice my two coordinate planes are parallel to each other and my first vector acts as a transversal. These two angles are alternate interior angles and we know that when the lines are parallel, Alternate interior angles are congruent. So this angle right here is 30 degrees. Now, if this entire bottom left quadrant is 90 degrees, 30 minus 90 is 60 degrees. Okay. So what I have is a triangle in which this is two, this is two, I need to find R, and I know this angle right here is 60 degrees, and I need to find this angle theta. Notice I have side, angle, side of, a oblique, of an oblique triangle, a non-right triangle. Therefore, I'm going to use the law of cosines to find out what R is and theta. Okay, so I know that r squared is equal to, it's 2 squared plus 2 squared minus 2 times 2 times 2 cosine of 60 degrees. And I'm going to solve for r. Okay, 2 squared is 4. 2 squared is 4, 
Negative two times two times two is negative eight. Cosine 60 degrees. Now from the unit circle, I know that the cosine of 60 degrees is one half. So four plus four is eight. Let me try that again. Four plus four is eight. And negative eight times a half is negative four. So r squared is equal to four. Take the square root, r equals two. Okay. <coughs> so if r is two, actually I have an equilateral triangle. Okay, so if all sides are equal, then we know all angles are equal. 180 divided by three would make this angle theta 60 degrees. Okay. Now, if this whole angle is 60 degrees, then what's inside right here has to be 30 degrees. Okay, so here is what I know. She is two kilometers from camp at a bearing north 30 degrees east. And this is her direction and distance from camp. Okay, I'm gonna have you pause the video and attempt example four. And when you're ready to see it worked out, hit play. Okay, example four. In an orienteering competition, McGill walks 90, north 80 degrees east for 150 feet, then walks 200 feet due east. How far and at what quadrant bearing is McGill from his starting position? Okay, so I'm going to create my coordinate plane. As McGill walks north 80 degrees east. So that means it's going to be an 80 degree angle from north to east. And he went 150 feet. Now, since we're giving a new direction, I'm going to kind of sketch a new coordinate plane right here. Next, he went 200 feet due east. Okay. How far and at what quadrant bearing is McGill from his starting position? So I am trying to find the resultant vector from the starting position to where he ended. Okay, and then I also want what quadrant bearing. So I need how far he is from north to the resultant vector. Okay. Notice these two lines are parallel. Okay. So I know that my alternate interior angles are congruent. So if this angle is 80, then this angle inside of here is also 80. Now this angle right here is a right angle. It's the entire lower left quadrant. So if I take 80 plus 90, that obtuse angle is 170 degrees. Okay. So when I'm thinking about this triangle, this angle right here is 170 degrees where this is 150 and this is 200. I need to find the resultant vector and this angle theta. Again, I'm going to use law of cosines. Okay. So I know that r squared is equal to 150 squared plus 200 squared 
minus 2 times 150 times 200 times the cosine of 170 degrees. Okay, I always multiply before I add. So I'm going to take negative 2 times 150 times 200 times the cosine of 170 degrees. And I'm going to add 150 squared. And I'm going to add 200 squared. So r squared is equal to this value. Go square root of our answer. Okay, and r to the nearest tenths is 348.7, that would be feet. Next, we have to use the law of cosines again to find this angle. So if I need this angle, I'm looking for the side across from it. So I have 200 squared equals, you can come on in, 200 squared equals 150 squared plus 348.7 squared minus 2 times 150 times 348.7 times cosine of theta. Okay. Pause the video and I would like for you to solve for theta. After you solve for theta, hit play. Okay, once you solve for theta, okay, you should have gotten that theta was approximately 5.7 degrees. We round the nearest whole number, theta is six degrees. Okay, so our angle theta right here is six degrees. Now if you go back to our picture and you put this inside the triangle at six degrees, we need the angle from north to the resultant vector, okay? So this angle is going to be 80 degrees plus six degrees. Okay. So we are 348.7 feet from a starting position at a quadrant bearing of north 86 degrees east. Now you're gonna have an opportunity to practice these problems. Okay, they're not easy. So I would like for you to make sure you draw a good picture. Okay, attempt to find an alternate interior angle that is congruent. Okay, and then you can use law of cosines or if you have right, a right triangle, trigonometry, to find your missing sides and angles. Good luck.